And on the channel, it's one I've been waiting a long time for, is today we're taking a look at the true leader of G.I. Joe, Super 7 Ultimate Series 2, Flint. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! to the channel for another Super 7 Ultimates unboxing and review and today we got an all-timer as we got one of the all-time greats in Flint from Super 7 Ultimate Edition G.I. Joe Series 2 but of course for all your Super 7 needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up Big Bad Toy Store use the link in the description down below but of course Flint, an all-timer. One of the Holy Trinity. You put Lemmy, you put Flint. I got the Ultimate Warrior. Uh, three of the big ones from my childhood, from uh, my life, or whatever you want to call it. But Flint, of course, my all-time favorite G.I. Joe character by Miles. Absolutely love Flint. So I was very excited, as you can imagine, to see Flint here in Series 2. I do hope this leads up to all my heavy expectations. There has been a little bit of fuss about maybe some skin tone changes. I'm a little bit nervous about about that we're gonna find out we're gonna take a look at it here and of course we're gonna do this review like we do all the other reviews we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're gonna see where it goes from there and this should be an all-timer it's got to be it's flints involved we don't get enough flint figures give me tiger force flint give me eco warriors flint give me all the flints all the flints give them to me but there it is flint's little cardboard box here from super seven always do like this Wanted to show that real quick. Now we get down to the old meat and potatoes. We get down to the old Flint G.I. Joe packaging. Of course, G.I. Joe's in green, Cobra in blue in these Super 7 figures. No Cobra logo. They got the G.I. Joe logo right there looking really cool. You got Flint right down here. Flint on the side looking good. And then nothing really over here, nothing really on the back. But then, of course, just like Super 7 always gives us, we get the little slip case cover looking really nice. Big bubble window right there. Maybe I'll find Bill one of these days and he could autograph this for me. I don't know if he still works the convention circuit. The guy, of course, that voiced Flint. But, oh, I love this Flint figure. Look at that. Look at that big bubble window. All kinds of accessories. Can't wait to dive into there. Got Flint's name, the old dog tag down below. G.I. Joe logo at the top. Nothing too fun on either side of the package. And then on the back, got the big blurb going on back there. A big heavy blurb and a little bit tough to read, I will say. But uh, let's read it all. We don't normally read all these in the Joes. We usually stop it. But for Flint, he's extra special. Let's read this one. Uh, Dashiell Fairborn, of course. Military Specialty Infantry. Second Military Specialty Helicopter Pilot. What are we doing, Hasbro? Let's add him to the Dragonfly. If he's a helicopter pilot, move over, Wild Bill. Flint's got it. Flint's got it under control. From Wichita, Kansas, absolutely beautiful this time of year. A good Midwestern brother, just like myself. I knew Flint and I got along well. I've known he was from Wichita, of course. Flint was a Rhodes Scholar, a dusty Rhodes Scholar. He knows everything about the American dream. We all knew that. But he is a Rhodes Scholar and earned his degree in English Lit. Uh, bored by the groves of academia, I understand that, he enlisted in the Army and applied the tenacity and concentration he had used so well scholastically to grind his way through airborne school, ranger school, special forces school, and finally flight warrant officer school, graduating each with top honors. A thorough tactical planner, Flint drafted and personally led a half dozen rescue missions in hostile territories that, for obvious reasons of security, were never publicized, let alone admitted to. That's why he's a leader. He's a leader. He doesn't take all this credit here. He's also, I've heard, one class away from a minor in film. Just like myself, we got a lot in common. A lot in common. Uh, we had thought Cobra had us in the stinking dungeon for good, so we didn't know what was going down. When we heard that chopper coming in and all the heavy hardware going off, like the 4th of July. Then somebody kicked down the door to our cell, and when the smoke cleared, there was Flint with that lopsided grin saying, Come on, boys! 
we're going home. Man, that gives me goosebumps just reading that. Just reading that. Flint saving the day. Uh, no stranger to saving the day. Flint, he would never be in a prison first off. He would never be captured. He'll kick down that cell. He'll rescue the Joe boys. You know what Duke would do? Duke would be there waving his hair around. He'd be looking at Snake Eyes and Scarlet. More worried about that. Or Flint, he's out there getting it done like a true leader. He doesn't need the leadership. I always say the true leader at G.I. Joe, sometimes the person that runs your company that's at the top of the house, whatever it may be, there's somebody behind the scenes that's doing the real leader work, and that is Flint. That is Flint all day long. Well, let's get Flint out of the package here. I could go on and on for days why Flint's the true leader. Ah, yes, there it is. But old background there, got the nice starburst. Here for that all day long as usual. Oh boy, Flint, Plastic Prison City. We got all kinds of stuff for Flint. There it is, looking really, really nice there in the Plastic Prison. Let's see what's in this second Plastic Prison. You get the old, old uh, razor blade out, cut this out, free Flint from the Plastic Prison. And this one, we get the old backpack going on. Oh, we get a little newspaper, a little walkie-talkie action, some flashlights, some... Uh, binoculars and a shovel uh, because why not why not we're gonna go find my destro figure that's buried in the ground all these years later flint and i are gonna team up and get it done but there it is all right i'm gonna take this offline gonna get flint out of the pack and we'll be back talking all things flint all right we got the mighty flint out of the package here let's dive into the accessories first and we're gonna start with all the hands and flint of course came to fight right out of the package two fists of fury of course all these hands do have gloved hands as well uh, we're accustomed to that by now. We get the up and down hinged hands here of two gripping hands, uh, weapon holding hands. We got two of those right there looking good. Uh, then we do get two big meaty gripping hands here as well. So you got the big old grip hands if he wants to grab, you know, Duke by the throat if he has to. If he has to, if Duke gets out of line, stop, stop wasting your time with Scarlet there. Uh, but who knows? Who knows? But uh, he does got those going on. Then we got another gripping hand and a finger pointing hand. Now we've seen this finger pointing hand before. Of course, you get the most out of your molds with these things, but of course, these are painted in glove colors to match Flint. Flint got a walkie-talkie. You can never know when he might have to lead the team or do something or call in some help. Usually, he doesn't have to call in help, though, if I'm fairly certain. He's like a young Chuck Norris in a lot of ways. So you can just drop Flint in the jungle, drop him anywhere. He'd take care of business by himself. He doesn't need help, but if for some reason he did, he's got a walkie-talkie if he needs one. We do got that patented Flint shovel. Of course, Flint loves doing a little work in his garden. That's how he keeps his zen peace about it. Him. You know, he goes out there and he tills the garden, works on some stuff. Uh, we do get a shovel here. One of the strangest accessories I think we've had so far in the Joe line here. I'm not sure if I'm for this, but if he's got to crack somebody over the head, if all things fail, he doesn't have any weapons around him, he'll grab a shovel and he'll make this a weapon is what he'll do. Get a nice backpack for Flint as well. Big uh, water jug on the back here. Of course, two grenades on the top. You got the silver accents. Just slides on over to his arm. Of course, Flint known for his backpack in the back in the old G.I. Joe figure days. But we do get that backpack right here. Then we dive in here. I like this one too. A little newspaper thing. One of those kind of Easter eggs you do get. It says, Cobra Commander to deliver State of the Empire address tonight. And you got some of that going on. Some words, some squiggly lines. Cobra Commander. Very cool newspaper there. I'm here for that. Then you get a little binoculars action here. Flint uh, doing the looks out there. He's looking out there. He's trying to see what's going up. Uh, he's figuring it all out. Got a kind of a nice uh, lime green, light, very, very light green uh, color on those with the silver accents, of course. Then we do get some weapons for Flint. And, of course, this is his iconic weapon. We've seen this before in many toy lines over the years. A very cool one for Flint to have. I'm glad they gave us this in the Super 7 Ultimate Series 2 as well. Uh, I got two different color schemes on this, but it is all day long. I see this. I know this is Flint's weapon. Then you get a little pistol action, of course. Joe's always had their pistols. We saw Fl uh, Flint with this in the cartoon as well, all in a silver color. And getting the most out of your molds with some of these weapons, as we saw this with Duke, we saw this with Snake Eyes. Of course, this is the iconic rifle that the Joes use, the green shirts, you name it. We saw this all the time back in the cartoon. Happy Flint got one as well. Uh, then we got a little uh, flashlight, or no, a little yeah, a little flashlight here, a little flashlight action for Flint. I've heard Flint can see in the dark. I don't know if anybody can fact check that, but uh, flashlight, maybe Lady J needs it or somebody else. Who knows? But we get that. Now we dive into Flint. We dive into Flint's heads. That's where we're going to start before we get into the body here. And right out of the package, I know this is Flint. You got that beautiful beret going 
going on. Beret not removable on this one. Got the eyebrows raised just a little bit. He's always aware. He's like a cat. He always is aware of his surroundings at all times. Old Flint here. Now, the big thing about this Flint figure and a lot of the feedback that went out was a lot of people complaining about the skin tone color. We got some paint on Duke, for example, in Series 1, and it looks like there's no paint with Flint here. And it definitely looks like if there was a little bit of paint on this, it would really bring it out a little bit more. This still does look like Flint to me. Maybe it's not perfect like I wanted it to be, but I guess it's close. But uh, just you can't accept perfection all the time. We'll compare it to Duke here, and I'll look at those side by side later in this video here uh, when we bring Duke out. But definitely looking good. You got the two ears on the side. You got a little hair going out there. Definitely looking like Flint all day long. Good eyes on Flint as well. We get extra heads with Flint here, and we talked about him being a helicopter pilot. He's got the helicopter pilot uh, earbuds in right here. Old school there. He's talking to anybody he needs to, or maybe he's just listening to some motorhead through here while he's up in that chopper just doing his thing up there. Uh, but very similar to this head. He's got an open mouth going on, same kind of eyebrows, same eyes, but you do get the headset on the side there, of course. So that's one of the heads. Now, the second head is a pretty cool one here, as you do get Flint's beret as a separate piece. So you can put it on, take it off, whatever you want to do. Same beret we see here, but not sculpted on, so I like that. And then you got Flint looking only like a Flint could look. Looks like he's ready to take uh, old Lady J out to a, a nice dinner, maybe a Brazilian steakhouse. Who knows? Who knows where Flint's going to take her? Uh, but definitely a good-looking Flint right here. Uh, looking like uh, Leave it to Beaver's dad or something like that. He looks like a young Ward Cleaver. Looking like All-American is what he looks like right here. I'm here for that head as well. Most likely, just like uh, some of the other ones, I'll probably the stock head is probably the one I'm going to stick with, but we'll see what happens with that. But now we get down to the Flint figure, and all day long, I know this is Flint. You got the green camo throughout. You got the nice tiger stripes down here, of course. Not just the leader of G.I. Joe. Yes, he is. You can argue all day long. I'll never believe it. Uh, you guys like to give me a hard time, but no, no, no. Change my mind. You'll never change it. He's the leader. Uh, but he's also the leader of, of course, Tiger Force, of course. Uh, so he's got some of those stripes there. That's why it's so easy for a repaint to make him a tiger. Tiger, tiger Stripe one. Let's get a Tiger Force Flint in Series uh, 4. How about that? I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Uh, probably not. Uh, most people probably wouldn't be, but I would be. I would be. But Flint definitely looking like Flint in the, in the design here. Got the big collar going on. Got the old uh, gun, uh, the bullets over there, the old bullet belt, like a young uh, Lemmy on uh, Ace of Spades album cover. Uh, kind of reminds me of that a little bit there. Got the silver accents looking good. The yellow belt buckles looking nice. Of course, got the holster here on the side for his weapon. Got to have that at the ready at all times. Got the turned up uh, sleeves on his shirt as well. Got the Army Ranger badging on the hat and on the side of the arms. Looking really nice. A bit of a thin figure, a bit of a light figure, of course. But he moves like a cat, like we said. Articulation, of course, arm's going to go all the way around. Bicep cut, single jointed elbows, but you get the side to side, of course. Hands back and forth, side to side. You got some wrist tape going on. I don't know, part of his glove, I guess, uh, in brown. He does got a traditional ab crunch on him, plus waist articulation. He can do, the, do those big old flint splits if he needs to, of course, at all times. You do get the single jointed knees. Boot cut, ankles back forth, side to side, all the movement there for old Flint looking good. Of course, does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10% of ringside collectibles. Look at that. Fits like an absolute glove on that stand. Man, I am here for this Flint. Yes, I'm probably biased because I absolutely love Flint. The only negative I have with this one is maybe the skin tone color. Could have added a little a color to it, maybe a little bit more pizzazz, but it's still Flint at the end of the day. It's still a good looking figure for me. Of course, we got Flint from the G.I. Joe Classified line as well. Another great Flint. I love this Flint. I like it. A lot of people say, ah, it leaves a little to be desired. I get it, but I understand they were trying to go for the, the future, a little bit change of Flint. We'll see if they come back to Flint. Uh, a lot of rumors going around. We're going to finally get a Tiger Force Flint, and we might see that at San Diego Comic-Con. So we'll have to stay tuned for that. But there's a little of Flint now and a little bit of Flint then is what you get with this one here. Of course, we talked about Duke earlier, and I want to look at these the, the, the colors on the faces on these two. Of course, uh, Flint uh, being bossed around by Duke. Duke, you don't know what you're talking about. Just take my word of advice. It always works out. You know how it goes. Flint and Duke, of course, a team, friends at the end, but Flint, the true leader once again. But man, I will say the Duke head sculpt looks better than Flint. It's that extra color in there, bringing out those details. Man, oh man, I wish Flint had that same love in his face, but he just doesn't have it, unfortunately. I don't know, maybe they'll fix that, maybe they'll do something different one of these days. Uh, but definitely is different, where Flint... 
is just kind of plastic. Duke's got the paint. Man, oh man, that's that's hard times. That's hard times. But that's a true leader. He's letting his second in command, man, you take the extra paint. I don't need it. I'll survive without it. Flint, once again, showing what kind of a leader he really is there. But definitely, these two look good here together. And of course, Cobra Commander, he is scared to death of Flint, as we do know. He, he uh, haunts Cobra Commander's dreams at all times. Just, he's just waiting for that day Flint kicks in the front door and just takes him into cuffs and so on. But definitely looking good. Man, I like this line. You guys know I like this line. You guys know I love Flint, so I'm here for this all day long. Very excited to get Flint in my collection after all these years. Kind of. I don't know about all these years, but definitely happy Flint came in Series 2 of the Super 7 Ultimates instead of Series 10 or something like that. So very happy to get this Flint figure. Obviously going to be a favorite of mine in my collection going forward. Is my Flint bias showing through as we do know. But let's say you guys and gals out there in YouTube land, what are your thoughts on this Flint? You picking it up? You passing? You playing the long game? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, don't forget to like this video. We got videos every single day, so make sure you do subscribe to this channel. Hit the old notification bell, and don't forget about the Patreon channel for early access to videos like this, bonus content, exclusive content, giveaways, Q&As. You name it, it's all going down in the old Patreon channel, and I always appreciate your guys' support. And you can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson, and don't forget social media, Sir Paul 64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for the mighty Flint, the true leader of G.I. Joe, I am Kyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon.